put all screws together. So here, M16, M16, two flat washer, one spring washer. M12, two flat washer, one spring washer. M10, two flat washer, one spring washer. This, just two flat washer. This, two flat washer, one spring washer. So first you mark on the floor this line where to put this box this box so you need to mark the line on the floor this is the 11 brush machine so the here the distance is 1620 if it's a 14 brush it's different so I just teach you the method how to mark the line on floor if it's a 14 brush you just check case by case the distance okay so one six two zero. Come on, come on. You come on. Where is it? 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 Where is Okay, another point. One six two zero. This two point you use you, you use this thing to mark this line of law. Alright. So this line. Okay, we finish. And then we find this line. The this line. This line. From here, we conveyor. From here to this line is 800 mm. Should I? Right, 800 mm. And same. This is this is the exit of machine. Here you find the right is hundred mm. So this two point you use the line to mark to mark this line. So we find out so we can know the machine edge. And then we find the machine because the machine total is. Uh, Three eight zero zero, the machine wide. So from this line, you find here come to this line. You see this line. This line and this line. The distance is three eight zero zero. Okay, with all these three lines, we can know where to put the machine. After you finish the three line. We can start put the machine box and the leg. Three line, okay. Here, here's one line. Here's another line, right? This two line distance is a three eight zero zero, and uh, here is a front line. So the machine box, machine box, can be put here. According to the drawing, you can see 1620. I mean, from here to this line is 1620. 1620 the machine, you see the box back is this box back, right? 1620. The box back is a. Uh, you need to follow the line. Here. Here is a. Uh, 
Hola. The machine. This side, okay? This side. Follow the line. Follow the. Not this side. This this line. This line. Follow. Let's see. Not this one. So after you can fix this box, you just put one bolt, drill and put one bolt, fix this box, and uh, same same thing. Fix another box here. The box back is the. This box, the box back, follow the line. And here, this, this angle, follow the line. Okay? Not this, this, follow the line. Alright, so these two, two box is fixed, then you start to fix the legs. Each leg, this, each leg, the distance is a. Uh, each leg distance is a one five six zero, one five six zero. Same, one five six zero. So you 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 check the distance from this box to this leg one five six zero and uh, fix the leg, fix leg, the leg, same. You see the, the, the leg of this side also follow the line. Uh, okay. Same here. All the leg follow the line. Alright. So because this this machine is 11 brush, this machine is 11 brush, so it is uh, use this distance. If it's uh, if it's a uh, 15 brush, oh, this is a 14 brush. 14 brush here is different. You see here is a 1300. Zero, zero. And the line is the box front. Do you understand me? So that means if it's a 14 brass machine, you mark from here, from the from the angle steel to here, you you find a one three zero zero this and mark the line. The line is the machine box. This side, okay, this side. This mark, this 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 uh, this line. You need to follow the the line you marked. You understand me? Not the back. Not here, here. This follow follow the line. Follow the line. One three zero zero. Because in the drawing, it is the front. It's from the front of the box to here is the one three zero zero. Hopefully you can understand. This thing is put between the. Legs. See. Ah, okay. One, 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 one. Everyone here. You can, after you fix, uh, before you fix the legs, you can put take one thing to measure to see if it, if this thing can fit in properly. You can yeah, take it to here to check. Yeah, so you can put it here to check and take it here to check. To check, okay. This thing is put here on the bottom, so some client like to put the mirror on here, so it's beautiful. Now, all the box and the legs are finished. See all the legs follow the line.
and I recommend you to get a tool uh, like this. The most important is this part. This part it is very useful when you fix the frame of machine. If you can't get this thing, you can use this. Use this to grind, grind, grind it. Next, next step is to fix the side beam on the machine leg and box. So you need to find the right. Okay, you may wonder which is the side beam first, side beam second, third, right? Side beam first, side beam second. Okay, here you need to notice this box. You see, here is a big hole. Right? All the four box. One, two, three, four. All the four box has a big hole. Okay, so come you you come to find the correct uh, side beam. Our our drawing here marked. Side beam one is two 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 zero two two zero zero two seven four zero. This is eleven brush. Okay, if it's fourteen brush, you need to. It's a different lens, so you can check case by case. You see, here is a big hole. Here also big hole. This from here to here. Is two 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 zero. So it's the first one on the left. From here to here is two two zero zero. So it's it's the second one on the left. Here is the, from here. To here, see from here to here is a two seven four zero. Please note that you can here here is a horizontal brush. You see this this brush, horizontal brush. So horizontal brush is put here. You see the the holes here. Horizontal brush. This is a side brush one. This is side brush two. You see, side brush one, side brush two. Side brush one is right after the horizontal brush. Here is to put side brush one. It's right after the horizontal brush. Here you see this thing. This thing is a it's a rear because side brush two. Sad brush too. It can move back, force and back. It can move on the machine. So this is a small rear for the sad brush too to move. So next time you can, if you install the 14 brush or 9 brush or, you, or every type of tunnel, you if you look for the which is the which is the sad beam for the sad brush too. So you can you just look for this. Okay, for this this piece. Okay, after is the last one, last piece. It's for the put the dryer. This is 11 brush. You see here is a big hole. Here on this side. This is right side. Right side of side beam, the first piece, the second piece, the third piece. This you see the four small holes is to fix with the other legs. Okay, this is the horizontal brush, the hole for horizontal brush. All right. Here, for the side brush one. Okay. Here for start the brush two. Okay. Here for the dryer. You see many 
small four holes. One, two, three, four. All right. Here, one, two, three, four. Also here, one, two, three, four. Honestly, for all the four small holes is for the is for fixing all the legs. Fix, fixing our legs. Our legs, see? Four holes. So you can choose to fix the side beam one by one, okay? First one, second one, one by one. Or you can choose to fix all the side beam together. <laughs> On the outside, then use a crane to pick up the side beam and fix on the legs. Connecting all the side beam, all side beam use the, use this one, M12 screws. You connect like this, okay? Connect like this. You see, here, spring washer, flat washer. Here only flat washer. Connect like this way. And before you uh, tighten the screw, you, you, you take this, you put on some grease. Put on grease like this. So the screw will not be jammed. Okay, so all the beam. M12 screws and a beam fix on the box, fix on the legs. Also, also M12 screws. The floor maybe not a flat, you see. See here, okay, here, okay. Here the space is bigger. So you, so you need here. This screw you loose, loose a little. Tighten the top, then tighten the under. You put some uh, iron plate under. Then screw it. After finish, you after you tighten all the box legs, side beam. Then you put on this uh, middle beam. The middle beam is right after the SB2 rear. Right, this is the SB2 rear. Right after it, it's the middle beam, you tighten it. And this is the SB2 beam. SB2 beam. Before you put this on the machine, you need to take this off. Take this off. And uh, take this thing off. Then it's easier to put the SP2 beam on the SP2 rear. On this. On this. Okay. 
So this is SP2 beam. You see here the water rear, the water wheel. Okay. Remember this box is near to the exit. This is the exit. This is the exit. The white box is near to the exit. After the FB2, F SB2 beam, you fix this uh, middle beam. Okay, this is right before, right before the SB2 rear. Okay, then you fix the SB1 beam, SB1 beam. It's easy. Here's the bearing. You put the bearing inside the the U the U type uh, iron. Okay. Here, see, the screw is M12, M12, M12. This is also M12. So be, be careful, the air cylinder, you see this air cylinder, it is near to the exit, exit. This is the entrance. The air cylinder is near to the exit. After the SB1 beam, you can fix the Fix the horizontal brush beam. This is horizontal brush beam. Be careful, the motor is on the left side. No, that's the entrance. Okay, entrance. I'm facing the exit. That is the the motor. Motor is on the left side. And the fix on the fix the horizontal brush rear on the beam. Fix on the beam directly. Here fix on the floor. There are same fix on the floor and here there fix on the beam. Be careful. That is uh, on the left side. On the left side the the rear is this type. You see is this type. On the right side the rear is this type. You see? This is the right side. That is the left side. Okay, I'm facing the exit. Exit, left side, right side. Then you can put the, this is a machine entrance. You can put the entrance beam, entrance beam on the top. The screw is the M10, M10. And you can fix this thing on the beam. The white thing is for, for uh, fixing the logo. Logo. After the entrance is the high pressure beam. High pressure. So here is the motor. Okay. Remember this pipe. Is this this pipe is the facing right side. The facing this side. Okay. And the high pressure leg. High pressure leg. The water pipe is near to the entrance. Here, see. The water pipe is near to the entrance. Now connect the high pressure water pipe. The high pressure. High pressure water pipe connected to here. Connected to here. Yeah, okay, then come down to here. To the D pipe in drawing. D. A, B, C, D. D. D pipe in drawing. And uh, here is a two small high pressure pipe connected to here. And uh, the other side connect to the top. And uh, this this pipe connected with the spring noodle. Use this. You see? Here, neck, here. Next, ah, uh, yeah. 
Now put on the horizontal brush belt. See the belt is like this. Here come out and lock it. Belt go down. So at the bottom we put on the top brush, horizontal brush. So here, here is a safety sensor because normally the brush is tight, right? It's tight. So the sensor is uh, will not sense this uh, little hammer. But if the if the belt is broken, you see here this thing will come down, and the sensor will sense this is everything. So the it will give the signal to machine to stop the machine. This is the safety. There also one belt and the sensor. SB1 beam. Okay, this SB1 beam, this is a spring. You need to fix. Remember this, this thing. A spring. And here also. I, I'm facing the exit. This exit. Spring. Spring. Okay, here, here no spring, but this is, okay, remember this thing. fix under the sensor, sensor under the gray square panel, okay, the gray square panel under the sensor, fix the sensor and the panel are very close, very close, see, very close, and uh, this SB2, SB2, Fix this thing. Its uh, function is to make sure the the wheel does not fall off the machine. The, the wheel is on the rear. This thing is to make sure this thing don't come out. This this uh, this thing is very near, very small space. Okay, very small space. You can see very small space. To, this this thing is made make sure this thing don't come out. Uh. And uh, fix three three switch here. One, two, and uh, three. Yeah. There are holes. There are holes. You just uh, fix on the hole. This is a conveyor. This is the first piece. Conveyor. First piece. Okay. Here the middle one it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Before you fix the conveyor, this is M16, M16 screw. You put the grease, you see the grease. Put the grease on it before you before you tighten it because it's uh, easy to jam. This is exit. Chain connection. Okay. Must use this type screw. Must be this type. You see, must be this type. See here. Take this. Take this one off. Take this one off. Yeah. Connect.
here the conveyor. This loose, loose, loose. Okay, so it come from under, go back. This is a horizontal brush beam. Okay, we can put on the left side. The left side is put on the motor. Right side put on this. From top, the belt come down and use a clip this to tight and use lock to double tight, double thick. <coughs> okay, this how long is this belt? You need to make sure this this panel can reach this sensor. Then it's okay. This panel reach this uh, sensor, and then from top <coughs> check. Come to here, try to check what's the, what's the distance. Then, according to that distance, according to from the top to the middle, the distance, you measure the same distance from the top to here, in the middle, and uh, fix this one. Here are some sensors you need to put on this sensor. Sensor. This sensor and this sensor. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This sensor and this sensor is one pair. This and this is one pair. Also, put on this, this, and fix this. They are same. Here, put two small sensor. Sensor keyboard come inside, come in, and uh, okay, put it here. On the horizontal brush leg, there are four proximity sensors one, two, three, four, okay, one, two, three, four, one, and the four, one and the four is one type of sensor. Is sensor with this this type of cable. Okay. One, one and four is this type of cable. Two and three is this type of cable. All right. Now to fix the tire brush, the left tire brush just to make sure the when when it close when it Go back the brush is the same line the conveyor okay we fix the right right tight brush because china the car is small in mexico the car is uh, bigger so this is china when you in mexico you just make sure this one same level here okay this same level here in mexico and fix the small vertical brush first uh, you measure from from the horizontal horizontal brush leg from leg to to the middle. Okay, it's uh, 40 cm. Then it's okay. Now when the brush close to wash car with the brush, just make sure this this is in this is in go to the go to the middle. You see this same level here. Uh, okay, here, same from here to here to the middle is a 40 cm, and uh, from this area, same level here, the middle. Uh, okay, and this one, the right uh, side, the small vertical brush. When you, when you check from here. To the outside, okay. From here, from here to the machine outside is 60 cm. 60 cm. From here to the machine outside, from here is 65 cm. From here, 
the machine. The machine here, 65 cm. This one, same. Over here, the machine outside, 60. Here, the machine outside, 65. Okay. Connect the three keyboards from that box. Come here, come here, come to the top, and uh, from here, come down. Okay, this is three keyboard. This keyboard is to connect uh, two switch. This is a uh, key, power on, power off. This is emergency stop. Okay. Wire two, three, four, five. So you you use you you use you use this keyboard to connect. Uh, red three white two black four brown five maybe maybe the four keyboard the color is different but you just know remember what color connect to three what color to two and uh, so connect to here two three four five and uh, at, at the other side of the box two three four five and uh, this one three per, one this keyboard is to Connect here. Zero 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 two. Okay, white and uh, red. Okay, white and the red. And the brown one is to earth. The final one shield the keyboard. The keyboard is this one. Only one shield keyboard to connect this PLC to the big PLC. Okay, let's put here first. Because this is a shield wire. Shield wire connected to PLC and the big PLC in the back. Here, shield wire. One uh, keyboard. Okay, this keyboard has a Okay. The shield wire inside has three wires, three wire. Okay, you use you use a red wire, red wire as number one. When you red wire number one, you separate two two small wire, connect to SDA RDA. RDA the first one, SDA the third one. Okay, this separate to two, connect to. SDRDA wire two connect to SDB RDB this white wire separate to two, two small wire connect to RDB SDB the last wire third one the black one connect to earth connect to here and the shield layer see the shield layer use a small wire to wrap it and connect it to the last uh, yeah. SG. Okay, here the keyboard. How you connect uh, in the back box? P big PLC, same connection. And one more keyboard. This is a entrance traffic light. Okay, one more keyboard come to here from from that uh, box. Okay, so f the four, four wire. You see, blue, white, brown, black. So you can connect the four wire here, according to this number. Fifteen, fourteen, Y, and a zero, Leon.
Oh, there. Yeah, there. Oh, One more keyboard for this small vertical brush rotator motor. Okay, from the box, come to here, come to here, come to here, come to here, come down, go there. Okay, the dimension is uh, okay. For this small what uh, what brush rotate motor, this is this dimension. Also, from box come here, come here, come down, and come to here. Okay, here same. From box come 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 down, come to here, and this one also same. Move there, come 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 come, come here, and here. Okay. Same. Come, 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 come. From here, from here. Okay. Same dimension. Same dim dimension. One more keyboard from that box. Come here, come here. Come down, come to here. Okay. Come to here. This dimension is for X5 and X6. This X5. X5. It's X6. This is a four. This is a four wire, right? So the sorry. So the brown connect to brown, and and this sensor is brown. Blue, blue collect. Blue connect to this blue and this blue, okay. And uh, this one, the white signal wire and the uh, S5 white signal fire. Use the other two keyboards. You understand me? Brown go to D24, blue go to N. Then the other two wire go to X5, X6. Four by zero point seven five from that box come to here to connect this motor. It's uh, to swing the high pressure spring noodle. This uh, four by zero point seven five. Entrance this box two keyboard to this box two keyboard okay. Give it this box. My keyboard is 20 core. 20 core. The other keyboard is 4 plus 4 by 0 0.75. Okay. From from the door. From the back box. Go come to here. Okay. Uh, keyboard connection in the water pipe box, right? Okay. Here we connect two keyboard here from the box in the back come to here, right? Two keyboard. One is a 20 core keyboard, one is a 4 by 0.75 core. Okay. Come to here. Come here. This one. Water pipe box 20 core keyboard. The 20 core keyboard has different color red color, white color, black color, green color. All the color connected to to different wire. Red color connected to P24. P24 is a, is a also D24, is the same. I mean, it's just a spare rod. P24 is also D24. Okay, D24 is in the box in the back. You can find. And you can also find in the box in the back. Black 35, green 35, one, blue, light blue 37, one. All the keyboard you can find here. 35, 35, 37, one, yeah, all the keyboards can find here. If if there are wires here, that for example, there is wire here is a 41 one, but here we didn't find the 41 one. But you also need to connect connect this wire back in the box. In the box, you you, you will also find the 41 one. Okay. 
just we, we just didn't show all this uh, uh, paper P because this 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 cable also connected with the uh, sensor X5 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 X6 X5 X6 so the sensor the sensor need the DC 24 power so that's why this one here need to connect the the P24 also D24 and N is to supply, supply power to this to the sensor The brown is to D24, blue is to N. This is SB1 beam. This already have three keyboards on the beam. You just put the keyboard to that box. Three keyboard is for two motor, one motor rotate, another motor rotate, and the sensor. Sensor here. You see that the sensor is X15, X15. This is SB1 beam. Okay, this is the left side, that's the right side brush. So this SB1 air, SB1 R. Okay. The sensor is a X X15. Okay, so Moto Come here, you see? SB1 air, SB1 R and uh, connect to X15, X15, ah, okay, the sensor X15, the sensor has a, has a three, I think, uh, maybe three, three color, one brown color is to D24, blue color is to N, the last uh, signal sensor come to X, X15 X15 The one keyboard Okay, 4 by 0 .0 0 0.75 from the box Okay, from box to horizontal brush Right side of the, this area To connect uh, X22, X23 Okay So there are 4 You see, are 4 wires Brown, blue, brown, blue Brown Connect all the sensor bra, this bra, this bra, and uh, this this bra, this sensor bra, and uh, this sensor bra. The blue connected to this blue, this blue, and uh, this blue, and this blue. Okay, bra, bra go to D24, blue go to N, and the other two keyboard to connect uh, these two, these two sensor the signal wire. Okay. From that box. Come, 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 come to here. Another keyboard from here. Come, come. To connect to this motor. Its uh, type is uh, this dimension. This motor. Okay, this its dimension is. Uh, okay, see. Four by one point two five. Okay, this is uh, the Euro keyboard. And another keyboard from oh, there, come, 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 come down. Come here, come, 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 connect to this motor. This keyboard is a special one. It's a special one. It, uh, it, uh, it is marked uh, flexible, this one. This is a Japan keyboard because this keyboard need to go up and down, up and down, the motor go up and down, so this must be used good quality keyboard. This is the only special keyboard for this. This is a 4x1.2. 4x1.2, okay. So your motor keyboard connector here. WHP, this one. Is a high pressure swing motor. This one.
this one. Right, I, I write a keyboard here. This is WHP. And uh, TB. TB means horizontal brush. We call it a top brush. In China, we call it a top brush. So it's a TB. Is this one. Rotate brush. SB1R. SB1L. SB1R. SB1. Is this a SB1 beam, right? So I'm facing exit. So this is a SB1L. SB1R. T T B U D this one T B U D in China we call it a top brush up and down so it's also horizontal brush up and down is this motto it makes the horizontal brush go up and down so this is a T B U D We are one L, we are one R, we are two L, we are two R. T R L T R R. Okay, so here I'm facing the exit. This is we are one L, we are one R, we are two L, we are two R. T R L. T R R from the box connect to a ten core cable come to here come to this horizontal brush leg it's, it's, it's a different color all these cables are used on the sensors okay one sensor two sensor two sensor three sensor four sensor Five sensor, six sensor, and also this sensor, the belt sensor, and that one also belt sensor. Turn on motion. You have two type of sensor. Proximity sensor is this type of sensor. This type. This type of proximity sensor. This is a photo sensor. Okay. Proximity sensor has three wires. Brown go to D24. D24. You have a box. Blue. Blue is uh, go to N yellow box, and the black is a signal. It's uh, N O N O. The photo sensor has four wire. Brown go to D twenty four. Blue go to N. Black is a signal. N O. White is a signal. N C. We put one tin core cable from there. We come to the horizontal brush leg. Tin core cable. The tin core cable has a different color. Okay, different color connect to different uh, sensor. Okay, because because all sensor has D twenty four right D twenty four D twenty four all sensor has N has N. So in the tin core cable, in the tin core cable you just pick up two wire one wire to connect all the sensors D twenty four the other wire connect to the all sensors N. You understand? Only the only special one is this this one. Here four sensor one two three four the, the sensor one and four one and one and four is special they don't have D twenty four they don't have N so you connect you leave these two sensors away you connect to other other sensors first okay use the red red keyboard this this red wire to connect all sensors D twenty four the white uh, wire connect all the sensors N. The black one connect 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 uh, X24 gray X25. This is a signal. Light blue X26. Okay, you may wonder where are all the sensors. Okay, in the drawing we marked. Okay, so here top pillar TB pillar. See, this is a photo sensor, right? 
the up top upper one is 27, down is 26. This is proximity sensor. This is photo sensor, right? Photo sensor, photo sensor. 27, 26. Okay. Proximity sensor. 24, 25. Pro proximity sensor here. 24, 25. The front, this sensor Y22 here. Y21 too. Y22. Y21 too. This sensor. So according to this proximity sensor and this uh, photo sensor location, you can find all the sensors and then connect to the Tinko keyboard. The Tinko keyboard according to our paper here. See the red wire connected to DT24, wide and 24-25. Okay. Remember this special one, special one, the, this one. One, two, three, four. The special one is one and four. You see one and four. One and four. And four. This sensor is this one. You see, one sensor one sensor four both have three wires. We we, we remove this one. Remove only use this. Uh, brown and blue. Brown and blue. Okay. Sensor one and sensor four. They have one joint. One joint wire together. One joint wire to connect to Y twenty three. You see here we. We use the blue one to joint, joint, joint to connect uh, to Y23. See here, Y20, Y23 is brown color, brown color in the tin core keyboard, brown color. Okay, right? Brown color in tin core keyboard. Okay, the sensor. The other, the, the sensor one, sensor four, the, the, the other cable wire we connect to Y22, the other Y21 to Y22, orange, right, orange, orange, Y21 to green, here, green, right, so you follow our drawing. Connect this, connect this, connect 24, 25, this joint wire. Brown, no X24, X5, yeah. And the bare sensor, bare sensor, bare sensor, both sensor is X44, okay? This two uh, signal, both is X44. So the 10 core, 10 core keyboard from the horizontal brush leg come to this box, you can see all the D24, X, 24, 26, uh, and uh, Y23, Y21, 2. Yes, or you can find all the all the keyboard you see, all the wires, say X27, X25, Y22, yes, just connect from the horizontal brush leg, 10 keyboard wire connect to here, okay. HP means high pressure pump. High pressure pump. SB2M means SB2 beam. Move forward and back motor. SB2M. That motor. That motor can make the SB2 beam to move forward and back. SB2M. SB2ROC SB2ROC It means SB2 SB sorry SB2 beam air means left we are facing exit means left SB2ROC means 
SP2 L left side brush open close motor. Open close that motor. SP2 L OC. This SP2 L SP2 R OC. SP2 R right side brush open close motor. SP2 L O C SP2 R O C SP2 L SP2 R SP2 L left brush SP2 R right brush this one PS PS means the pump for shampoo and wax. P, P oh sorry. PS means the shampoo means the pump for the recycled water to spray water on the brushes. PS PP means the pump for the shampoo and the wax. Okay. CR means conveyor. Conveyor motor. CR. This is the conveyor motor. You just connect cable here directly inside. In SP2 beam, there are many sensors. Let me explain which sensor is which signal. See, this sensor is X73. This sensor is X74. This sensor is a SP2 safety sensor. It's X17. Here, sensor X16. Here, sensor is X75. Okay. And the the brush can open, close, open, close. So that's the out out limit. This is in limit. This in limit is out limit. So this brush go out, go in. This brush go out, go go out, go, sorry, go out, go in. So I marked. This is the extra forty-three. This is forty-two. This is X forty. That is X forty-one. X forty. Ah, okay. Two cable from uh, le left side exit box to this SP2 beam box. This two cable is also important. It has uh, two pipe. One, one, one cable is a uh, 16 core. The other is a uh, 12 core. Both cable is a uh, both cable is a uh, good quality, flexible Japan. Flexible and this too, flexible. Okay, this two cable important. Come here to connect here. Okay, here we have the paper to show SB2 exit box 16 core, 12 core. Okay, you connect as our paper. Okay. One two three connected to SP two air. SP two air. SP two R. SP two R. Okay, follow our follow our people connect. And uh, here the tail core connected P twenty four N X sixteen. P twenty four N X forty four. X16 and 17. Okay, just follow the paper. Uh, remember, only the this is a uh, 11 brush, 11 brush, 9 brush, 7 brush, 
X77, X1377 is this one, is this sensor. Sensor is here. Okay. If it's a 14 brush machine, no, there's no, this don't have this sensor. Okay, so no connect to X77. Okay. And uh, here, connect the same, same over there. The other top connect the same, the same wire. All right. This FB2 beam, this can move, can move forward and move back. There are three switch here. That's X70, X70, 71, 72. Use a 4 plus 0 0.75 cable from that box. Come to here. So, okay, the point of our paper. Okay. This is three, you see, this is three switch has one joint cable is N. The signal, each signal is 70, 71, 72. For example, cable come here, connect, okay, two. One cable connect to N, the other connect to 72, N72, similar here. Come here, same cable. Also this cable, same one, same cable. Come here, open one, still N71, okay? And go there, similar. Open, open this cable and take out the N cable, connect to, connect to N, and take out the last cable, to connect to X70. And uh, their side can in the box. Uh, 70, 71, 72. Here, a uh, water pipe from uh, to connect it with the pumps. So, uh, we have two underwater pump, underwater pump. Uh, the 1.5 kW pump connected to this one because this is the fresh water. Fresh water go go here and uh, spray separate. This is the shampoo. Go to shampoo. This this is wax. This is the uh, fresh water as the as the last uh, as the last function water function. Okay, okay. Let me ex explain to you one by one. This fresh water come here separate shampoo. Okay, shampoo come here. Here, here. Because China we only use one pair of shampoo. Uh, uh, in Mexico I give you. Three form and uh, three form shampoo and uh, one lava for a uh, shampoo. So you have many. There, there will be many, many pipes here. There will be many pipes here for fresh from fresh water. This is wax. Wax comes to here. Wax comes to this one. SP2 beam. This one, okay. So the water pipe from the front come to here, come here and come back, and go up and connect to here. This wax, okay. All right, fresh water come out. This is a fresh water rinse. Come here. From from the water pipe box, come to here, like come back, and uh, come here and here here here. Go go go. Connect to this pipe. You see, connect to this pipe. This is fresh water. This is a water pump to use recycled water. <coughs> here separate. This one, three pipe. Let me explain one by one. This pipe go up, go up, and uh, connect to middle. So from here, about about okay, connect to middle. You see, then separate to two sides. Okay. 
and uh, this two pipe, this one. Go down, go down. Okay, come to here, come out, connect. This one, go up, go there, go down, go to connect that one, okay. This two pipe, okay. This two pipe, is mo it is marked uh, 35. It's for this two small brush, this one, and this one, water pipe. Connect here. Here. Okay. This one marked uh, 41 is for tire brush. <coughs> connect to here. Here, here, connect water pipe. Okay, they are same. Come, connect water pipe. This one, this one. Count here, come to here. Come to here. Connect the in the middle and <coughs> separate it to two sides. Okay. Yeah, pipe, do this. Ah, air, explain about the air pipe, air pipe. This, 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 uh, this two is a SB1, SB1 big brushes. SB1 big brushes. This one. Open and close, open and close. It's uh, controlled by air cylinder. This. This, okay, also here, connect here, this, so, this, and uh, this is a small vertical brush one. Remember, this, this, and this is a small vertical brush one. This, and this is a small vertical brush two. This is small vertical brush one. Okay. Small vertical brush one. This small vertical brush two. You see here, come, come here. This is small vertical brush two. This is a tire brush. Open close. Tire brush. Here's the pipe. Come here. Here, uh, tire brush. Open close. Tire brush here, open close, open close. Yeah, small vertical brush, small vertical brush two, open close, open close. Small vertical brush one, open close. Okay. And uh, here, SB one big brush air cylinder, open close, open close. This is a shampoo. You see here, this one. This one is a shampoo, right? Shampoo. Here marked 31. Also here marked 31. This is a shampoo. The air pipe for shampoo. Connect. There. And uh, there. Here, down is an antifreeze. So in China, some place is very cold in winter. So this air come here, come here, come here. You see to push air inside the water pipe to to push the water out to protect uh, pipe in winter. Pressing the first one. 
Pick it up, brush up. Close. Keys there. Open. Okay, take care. Okay, on the SP1 big brush on the top, there's a cylinder. On the cylinder, you can you can adjust. <laughs> On the cylinder, there are switch you can adjust uh, it to open close quicker or sl slower. Okay, next one. How shall you try it? The second one. The second one. Uh, we are one small vertical brush. Vertical brush one. This is one. It uh, close. Then release. Then it open. Okay, make sure it open close. No sound, okay? So okay, so okay. Make sure it's no sound, it's very quiet. Because sometimes here is to adjust to make sure this arm open close by by the rubber, okay? If the rubber is how to say is upside a little, then the air cylinder will here will be pum pum. It's a, it's not good to the air cylinder. So make sure this rubber come in a little to to work to make uh, this arm open and don't hurt the cylinder. Okay, I'll take. Okay, this uh, small vertical brush too. The third one, the third one. Okay. The last one is a tire brush. Last one is tire brush. This one, tire brush. Okay. The keyboard connect the two box at the exit. To connect it from here, I connect it to the other box here. Now we are installing a 14 brush machine. 14 brush machine. Okay, let me explain the sensor one by one. Okay, this is the entrance. This is X5. X5. X6. X6. Tire brush. Four. Small vertical brush. Okay, this is a Top brush, top brush beam. Okay. Oh, you see the top brush. You see the beam is above the white frame. Okay. On the top brush, this left side. I'm facing exit. This is left side. On the left side, there are two type of sensor. This is the proximity sensor, right? Proximity sensor. This is the photo sensor. Progressive sensor signal is X24, X25. The photo eye sensor is X27, X26. Okay, these two, these two sensor one, two, three, four. The sensor one and four. Okay, one and four each sense. One, sensor 1 and 4, each sensor has two wire. Okay, one wire connected to Y22. Okay, the other wire connected to Y23. This sensor, two wire. One wire connected to Y21. To the other wire connected to Y23. Okay, clear. Okay, here the top brush rotate motor. Okay. This you need to pull a cable from that box up to here, and this cable, this cable must be flexible. It must be have this. Flexible, you see, because this this cable going up, going up, down. So you need to use flexible cable. Okay, on this side, this. 
27 okay 26 26 all right here a two sensor 22 x22 x23 okay all right here the sp1 beam that's the sp1 beam safety sensor it's the x15 all right here is SP2 beam. SP2 beam. SP2 beam. The here the sensor is a safety. It's a X17. All right. Because this has this is a 14 brush machine. If it's a nine brush or eleven brush or seven brush, there is another sensor at at there at uh, over there. Okay. Over there the signal is the X. X seventy seven. X seventy seven. Okay. All right. Here is the dryer. The dryer. Remember, it says this is dryer beam. This dryer beam is the same level as the watt frame. Okay. The dryer beam. On the left side, left side leg. Here is X11. This one and this one is one pair. X11. Okay. And uh, on the top dryer, this one is X36. On this side, Top dryer. This are they have three photo eye sensor. One, two, three. Over there also three. You no, know, it's three pair. Okay. Here X30, 31, 32. Here X30, X30, X32, X31. Do you know TX? TX means the photo eye sensor is has only two wire. Why is D24, the other is the N24, it's only electricity, no signal. TX, TX, that means these two sensor, photo eye sensor, has only electricity keyboard. One D24, the other is N24. This X30, it means it has a signal wire. D24, N24, NO, NC, alright. Here. TX means only N20, D24 and N24. X31, X32, each has D24, N24, NO, NC. Okay. All right. You know, this machine has two types of sensor. One is a photo eye sensor, right? The other type is a proximity sensor, right? Proximity sensor, photo eye sensor. All the machines, the pro photo eye sensor the machine all the photo eye sensor all use NC the white wire NC here yeah. all the photo eye sensor use the white wire NC okay except Except this three. Except this three. 30, 31, 32. Only this three photo iron use the NO, the black wire. Okay? Only this three use the black signal wire. NO. Alright. Here. Let's exit so on the top dryer as I explained. This, this three sensor use one four keyboard Japan. This three sensor use one. Four keyboard Japan flexible, okay. So this is three sensor uh, D24 N. This is three sensor D24 N X31 X32. So four core, all right. Perfectly match the Japan four core keyboard, all right. Oh, oh here also uh, 
four copy about Japan for D24 and X30, all right? D24 and X30. And the last one can, can, can connect to this X36. So four core, perfectly match. As I explained, the dryer here, three sensor, here three sensor, here is a four core keyboard, Japan keyboard, right? Because Japan keyboard is flexible, it can go up and down. Japan keyboard is not long enough from the box to here. You need to use only from here to here is the Japan keyboard. Japan keyboard here connected to a 14 core keyboard, 14 core keyboard, right? 14 to the box. Here, this Japan keyboard, and here, come here, exchange to the to the normal normal four core keyboard. Okay, all right. Only here, only this area use the Japan keyboard. And uh, you need to put this this uh, panel. This panel, this panel function is when it come down, when the dryer come down, the panel will come to here to the sensor. The sensor will feel the panel and uh, the, the dryer stop automatically. And this go up and stop at that sensor automatically. This is, I'm facing exit. This is the left side. Okay, this is the dryer beam. All the dryers there are four proximity sensors. One, two, three, four. Okay, two and a three. X34, X35. Okay, sensor one. And the sensor four. Each sensor has two wire. Sensor one and the sensor four. Each sensor has two wire. One wire connect to Y twenty two two. The other connect to Y twenty two three. Okay. This sensor four also two wire. One wire connect to Y twenty three two. The other wire connect to Y twenty two three. All right. Okay, one more thing. I'm facing exit, okay? Because this machine, this dryer, most important is the sensor, right? So, because sensor go up and down through the sensor wire, need to use a Japan flexible wire, okay? So you, you need a Japan four-core keyboard, four-core keyboard to connect this three sensor. All right, here also to use this uh, Japan flexible, Japan flexible, flexible. Can you say okay? Use this four core, four core keyboard Japan to connect to this uh, three sensor. Okay. X11, X11, S11. All right. So this is a dryer. After the dryer is a side dryer. Right after the side dryer is here, you need to put another sensor. This is for 14 brush machine. Only the 14 brush machine has this sensor. The signal is X10. X10. Okay. After this is a side dry side dry brush. Side dry brush. Alright. So side brush safety is X65. Here is a safety sensor. Okay. Then after the after the side dry brush, last one is the this one. 
is a top dry brush. Top dry brush. The 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 frame and leg is similar to top brush. Top dry brush is similar to drop top brush. The the most difference is the, the motor. You need to look at the motor. This motor is smaller. It's a 0 0.7 0 0.37 kW. 0 0.37 kW. Okay, top dry brush motor is 0 0.37 kW. Top brush is 0, uh, 0 0.8 kW. So, so I mean this motor it rotates slow slower. That top, that top brush rotates quicker. This one rotates slower. Okay, this is the difference. And uh, here are the sensor. Sensor. This and this is one pair. This is this one pair. Okay, this is a uh, X12. All right, this is X0. Same here. X0, X12. All right. On the left side, also here, we have two small sensors. One is X13. T3, the other S4, T6. Okay. On the, I'm facing X on the left side of the leg. Also has three proximity sensor. Three, four, okay. Sensor two is X fifty three. Sensor three is X fifty four. Okay. Sensor one and sensor one and the sensor four is only two wire. One wire connected to Y Y twenty four. Y24 2 the other Y connect to Y24 3 okay, here the sensor 4 one wire connected to Y25 2 the other Y also connected to Y24 3 so here are the top dry brush beam and after the last one is the sensor X uh, X uh, thir thirteen. Okay, and here another sensor put here. X three. Okay, I'm facing exit. Right. X sensor X zero. X zero. Okay, when you fix the X zero on the leg, you maybe you're not sure what's what's the high. When you when you measure what's the high, you 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 can you can. Check, check this one, X11. X11 is on the dryer. Right? X11 11, and this X0 is the same high. Also here, X0 and here X11 is the same high. Okay, this is only 14 brush machine has the X0. And the X12, X12, when you check what's the high, you, you can uh check uh, x13 was the high same level if it's uh, 11 brush machine or 9 brush machine or 7 brush machine i'm facing exit okay there is no dry brush no after the dryer there there is no dry brush no top dry brush okay uh, when you fix that but there is a x12 sensor x12 sensor for the nine brush, seven brush, or eleven brush machine, the X12 sensor will be on on the dryer leg, on the on the dryer leg, on the dryer leg. The high is a, the the high is the same level of the X13. Okay, you need to fix here for seven brush, nine brush, or eleven brush uh, machine. I'm, the, I'm at the exit, that's the entrance. This side brush, side dry brush, side dry brush beam, the, the keyboard, all the keyboards, they have the 
yellow mark, yellow lip label, but it's in Chinese. Okay, when you install, when you, when you don't know how to connect, you can take picture of this, uh, the, the mark and the stand me. I will tell you how to connect. One, two, three, four. All right. Only the side drive, side drive brush beam, this one. Side dry brush. Here I explain the top brush, right side, X22, X22 and X23 sensor, okay, let's see, here the iron only cover around the one third, only cover around the one third area of the sensor, and here this sensor is not covered, here the iron only cover, cover around the one third of the top 22 sensor, okay, see this sensor light is on, if the car hit the brush, the, the sensor off, the sensor light off, then the, the top brush will go up, okay. This, this is, if the car touch the brush, this, then the top brush will go up. If the car touch the brush very strong, make, make, make this sensor light on, then the conveyor will stop and the top, top brush go up. It's a safety. Here you can adjust adjust up and down up and down and here up and down you can adjust uh, um, how how strong the brush can touch the car you can adjust and uh, if the here is a rubber if the if the if we if, when the brush rotate if if the if here is a bum 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 if, if it uh, vibrating you can make this thing come out a little so when it rotate this is the stable this is the top brush the top dry brush is a Similar. The top dry brush. Similar. The top dry brush. X thirty three, X forty six. Okay. Here, only cover one third or rather one third. If the brush, if the brush is hit by the car, it go up automatically, right? And if the brush hit the brush hit by the car very strong, then the conveyor stop. Here's a side dry brush. Okay, here two sensor, oh, one yeah. sensor. Two yeah. sensor, okay. This is two sensor. Why is the X fifty six? The other is X fifty five. Fifty five is a big angle. Fifty six is small angle. Okay, so. You say you say, hold on. I I just press the button. Hold on. No, according to the this method, we can know what's this number on the PLC. Just hold on. Hold on. You see this one is blinking, so that the sensor is 56. So by this method, we all know what's the sensor number. What's the sensor number? Okay, 56 is small angle, 55 is big angle. What, what's the meaning of small angle? Small angle means this. When the brush, this side brush, it, it, it will drive the brush side, right? When you drive the car side, when you tilt a small angle, when you tilt a small angle, and the 56 light sensor is out. When you tilt a big angle, the 55 sensor, 55 sensor is out. So this is, uh, these two sensor is to, to, to determine What's the angle when the side side drive brush touch the car? When the when when the side brush washing the side drive brush washing the car, the small angle sensor light is on. The bigger angle sensor bigger angle sensor light is off. Okay. If the bigger sensor light is on, that means the the brush is too 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 much tilted, too much tilted. So the so the brush will open a little to make sure the big angle sensor light is off. I hope you can understand. Here. 
Here, small angle is 57, big angle is 60. Okay. So you by, by, by the method we teach you, you can know which sensor is a small angle, which sensor is a big angle. And uh, on the side, side drive brush beam, there are, there are limit sensor. And the, bra the brush open, open, close. So here is the email limit. This is a okay. This is a this sensor is a X64. This one is a X63. This one is X61. X61. That sensor is X62. This one. X62. Okay. Also by same same method. This is a side dry brush, okay? By the side, same method we can check small angle, big angle sensor and a small angle sensor here on the SB2 beam. This SB2 beam. Now on this brush there are two sensors, one sensor. Another sensor, okay, here also. One sensor, another sensor, okay. Also, the, each brush has two sensors. Each sensor is a, one sensor, one sensor is a small angle, the other sensor is a big angle. You understand? Small angle, it means, okay, it tilt a little, little angle when washing car, it's okay. If the big angle, big angle, the, the big angle sensor light is on, that means the brush Touch the car too much, the this brush will open a little to make to make the brush tilt at a small angle. I hope you can understand. All the sensor camera I I, I showed in the Excel sensor drawing. Okay. Now we are checking the small angle sensor. You see, he push the sense brush a little. Then you see the sensor light is on. This is small angle sensor. Bedo, bedo. So this is sensor light is on, but here the sensor not on, okay? Then the, the brush push more, that's too easy. Is that okay? You see the sensor light is on. The brush is more pushed, tilted. Okay, so this way is to check a small angle sensor and a big angle sensor. By this way you can decide how much the brush can touch the car. Now I'm at the machine exit. I'm facing entrance. Okay, two box, le left box and right box. You, you, if it's, uh, if it's uh, 14 brush machine, 14 brush machine, you, you need to use, you need to use this, this one. It's a 50 core cable, two 50 core cable to connect from here to here to connect from here to here and. Uh, over here, this box. From here to here. Okay, this two cable. Each cable is a fifty core. If it's a nine brush or seven brush or eleven brush, two cable. One cable is a fifty core. The other cable is a ten core. Okay, just connect from here to there. Adjusting the sensor near to the iron panel. See near. The closer, the better. This is sensor. This is sensor. This is sensor. And uh, here, this sensor. You can move the brush. Move the move the brush. You can see here. This is the uh, very near, right? Then you can open this brush to here, then check the sensor space small. Okay, 
good technician is now adjusting the proximity sensor near to the iron panel. Panel lava. Okay. Here. Push the contactor, make the top dry brush come down. Okay, and let the sensor, make sure the sensor space and the iron panel is a small space. The belt fixed in the middle of the wheel, okay? So, uh, so you, you press the press the conductor to make the dryer go up and down. Go up. So just he's checking the, the belt is in the middle. Yeah, he's checking the belt in the middle, make sure the Make sure the belt will not be cut by the wheel edge. Okay, this belt, this belt, and the top drive, top drive brush belt, and the top brush belt, top brush belt. Yeah, all this belt. You need to check the belt is in the middle of the wheel. Okay.